All right, so we're getting the slot cars going. Willie, give me a brief rundown of what's, what this is. Okay, this is HO, it's 164 size. The small ones look like that type of stuff there. It's pretty badass. There's different powered uh, magnets, armatures, so there's all different kind of classes. So this, the shore guys here run four classes, stock, stock mod, pro mod, and Neo. And it's, Neo is super fast, stock is pretty slow and all the stuff in between. I remember the mellow yellow car. My dad had the mellow yellow car. That was his car of choice. I think, and then they got all the different chassis. I and mean, you probably remember these, right? Different, uh, all the different little parts and different tires and, ha, ah, brings back some good memories. People, when they were younger, they drove like the 124 cars, which were about that big. Yeah. The problem is they took up, you know, in this whole shop, you can maybe fit two tracks. So it just it's too expensive. So yeah. I've always ran the HO ones. So this is actually like a humongous track for an HO size, 164 size uh, track. Okay. This is just like your gas pedal in your car. So pretty much, if you don't want to be steady, you want to be like off and on. So if you're just steady around the track or something like that. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do is gas it and then let off. That's like your brake. So when you let off, it actually activates a brake system in it and you can control the bias of that with the knobs on the controllers. This is a pretty easy car to drive. And this is this is the slow one? Yes. But it, it has decent magnet in it, decent power. In it. So the nap, lap timer there keeps track of the laps on each lane. It gives you a mile per hour. It keeps track of your best lap, lap time. All the stuff that you know, with like a Neo car, we do about, you know, about 1,800 miles an hour to scale. Really oh, bad. to scale. I was like, yeah, it's pretty bad, but to scale. You can barely see it. So like yeah. this one, you're going to do about probably about 900 miles an hour. Like and what they race, they race each lane for three minutes. The computer will start and shut off that each race, and it puts you, assigns you to another lane. So it takes the total of all your laps on yeah. four lanes, and that's the winner. It's I'm telling you, eye-hand coordination is crazy. And when you're four guys on the track at the same time, and you got people standing around who are putting the cars on the track when you crash, it, the concentration part of it is, man, it's gnarly. Yeah. Seriously fries your brain. I, I'm hoping my sim racing will help me here, but I don't know. It's different. It's like on the computer to this, it's like this is real. So it's just, it's, you'll see it if yeah. you try it. It's just, it's hard. Okay. I just had a guy in here uh, yesterday. Same thing, it was real good on the sim stuff, uh, you know, computer games and stuff. And it just does something different with the eye. Yeah. I always use this for a tool uh, for motocross for keep my eye hand coordination quick. You start with a starting gate that falls towards us and has little pins in it and stuff. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at the pins. As soon as the pin moves and we're like throttle, front brake, clutch in, and we just, you know, pretty much gas and it let out the clutch, let off the front brake and you know, accelerate out of the starting gate. So yeah. it's all, a lot of eye hand coordination. Okay, let's, 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 let's give it a go. All right, that first one he gave me was the really easy one. Uh, now I'm going to step it up, the one that has not so strong magnets, um, so that it'll actually fly off the track if I make a mistake here. So. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, now that I went to the red line, I'm like, it turns out shuffle to four are easy in the opposite yes, one. Yes, that's I'm the sharper angle. It's like a, that's what makes it hard when you're in the middle of a race. You three minutes on one lane, then you the other one. So you've got to have a different view of the track and yeah. different uh, radiuses. Yeah. Clearly, I need to practice, and uh, this, is a, <laughs> this isn't your uh, Christmas Christmas gift slot car uh, track at home either. So uh, I need a lot of practice. Um, I will probably be back here from time to time because the track's always open. We can play with it whenever. So uh, fun stuff. Um, and that's the slot car stuff. I'll put some more information in the description uh, for you guys if you're interested as well.